Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Today's video is about the beautiful Uluru Katajuta National Park in Australia. We will take you on a virtual tour of both the Uluru and Katajuta rock formations, showcasing their stunning geological features and rich cultural significance. The park is located in the Northern Territory of Australia and named after two of Australia's most spectacular sites, the world famous sandstone monolith of Uluru and the red domes of Katajuta. The closest town to the park is Yulara, a small township that comprises mostly of the tourism facility named Ayers Rock Resort, which offers a variety of accommodation options and restaurants along with several guided tours and activities. And the next large town is Alice Springs, which is around 440 kilometers from the park. So you can guess that it's pretty remote and travelers should book their accommodations and tour packages in advance due to limited availability. At first, we have Uluru, also known as Ayers Rock, is one of the most iconic natural landmarks in the country and is known for its unique geology and stunning color changes at different times of the day. It holds great cultural and spiritual significance to the Anangu people, the traditional owners of the land who have lived in the area for tens of thousands of years. Uluru is a popular tourist destination and visitors can take guided tours, hike or watch the sunrise or sunset over the rock. The rock stands at 348 meters tall and has a circumference of 9.4 kilometers. It is estimated to be around 600 million years old and the red color of the rock is due to the presence of iron oxide. Some of the things to see and do at Uluru include sunrise and sunset viewings. One of the best ways to experience Uluru is to watch the rock change colors at different times of the day. Sunrise and sunset are particularly spectacular with the rock taking on a deep red hue. Guided tours. Visitors can take guided tours of Uluru which are led by Anangu guides who can provide insights into the culture and spiritual significance of the site. Hiking Visitors can spend time walking around the base of the rock. The base walk is a 10.6 km loop and can get exhausting during the summer months. There are also shorter walks like the Mala and Kunia walk which are under 2 km and give you an up-close view of the rock. The walking track passes through tall grass and sparse trees supported by a few water holes like the Multijulu water hole. A natural water source located at the base of Uluru which provides a vital source of water for wildlife and plants in the surrounding desert. The area is an important ecological site and is home to a variety of plant and animal species. If you are willing to spend a little more, you can also take the helicopter tour to experience the amazing aerial view of the rocks. Next up, Kadajuta. In addition to Uluru, the park also includes a rock formation, Kadajuta, also known as the Olgas, a group of large dome-shaped rock made of rounded pebbles cemented together. The highest dome, Mount Olga, stands at 325 meters above sea level. The Valley of the Winds Walk is a popular trail which takes visitors through the heart of Karajuta, offering stunning views of the domes and the surrounding landscape. All in all, if you are visiting the Uluru Karajuta National Park, you will be mesmerized by its sheer beauty. Don't forget to book your accommodations and tours in advance. In a separate video, I will provide detailed information about the Ayers Rock Resort. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, do give it a thumbs up and subscribe for future content. Subscribing to any channel is free for you and it helps content creators like us in a big way. Till then, have a nice day and take care.